In this video, I wanted to give a quick review of the Amscope SE400Z. I have been using this for about nine months now, and I will say I do highly recommend it. I do love it. It does have some limitations, and I'll go over that here. Um, but it was $185, which I think is pretty reasonable. Uh, they're about $185 on eBay. Now, you can find these on Amazon, too. They're usually about $20 or more or something like that. But... Uh, Overall great, but as far as the limitations go, now you do only have about a five inch working space. So if you have a large board, say if this board was square, and if there was a chip right in the middle, I wouldn't be able to get to it. I wouldn't be able to see it with the five inch limit. What you can do is you can spin this sideways, and it increases it up to about an eight inch limit from where it hits the scope to where you can working space can see. Um, you would have to either screw this down to your desk or put a heavy weight on it because it will want to tip over. Now you, you can't spin it all the way back backwards because then you'd have to deal with the cord sticking out. But that, that's something that can be worked around. Not a big deal. Uh, the next thing that's kind of a limitation is um, the, uh, if you're working on a flat board, um, bring this into focus. Your eyepiece is at a good level for a desk level. You can see into the eyepiece nice. But for tall boards, like this board here is about two inches thick, which means I have to bring the eyepiece up about two inches to get it into focus. Now you're kind of hunching funny at your chair to get up and look down in it, which can be uncomfortable if you have to do it for long periods of time, so you're reworking something. Um, again, not the end of the world, but something to think about. And the last limitation is since it's a fixed zoom, um, like I have the, the 10 buys on there right now, which is perfect for doing most circuit board work. I actually bought the 20 buys, but there was no reason to. The 10 buys are perfect for this kind of stuff. But say this large chip here, which is about 28 by 28 millimeters, I can't get the entire thing in view at one time. So if I were to have to rework this chip, I would have to move it around as I go to get that edge in view. So again, not a, not a big deal breaker. Uh, the higher end up scopes, uh, microscopes get around some of these limitations. So I might be getting an upgrade here in the near future. But uh, oh, another bummer, it has no camera input like the higher end ones do. But uh, Really, for 185 bucks, recommended.